<laughs> All right, hello guys. Could you tell us a bit about who you are? Well, I'm Sally Dunford. And I'm Casey McClay. And we are both mural artists who okay. work for Primary Colours Learning Programs Limited. I started about eight years ago, um, about 18 months before Casey came came along. Mm. But I, I, my first mural actually was for Koha at a, a early childhood centre, and it was an exchange for me painting a whole oh. mural on a whole a, a whole wall, whole side of the building. And then I realised I could actually do something a bit different with my art, so I started looking at other options with daycares, and that just took off. And then mm. I got busy and. And then what yeah, happened? We sort of met, I was working at a, a shop at the time and um, I knew that she was an artist and I thought oh, I'd introduce myself, you know, because I sort of dabbled in it and, and um, I don't know, I sort of went from there. I just remember being at your house and looking at art you'd done. Mm. You know the oranges that you did? That's right. The biggest oranges oh the my world. god, they look so amazing. They're oranges, but they look amazing. <laughs> and, um, and it was quite a large piece of artwork, so yeah. it was already like a mural. So basically, and, and I'd been commissioned twice to do the same picture, which was yeah, really Yeah, it was really quite cool. So um, I think, our, I don't know, our friendship and the art that we did develop from there and mm. and then murals came into it and that got quite exciting. So Yeah, and I got heaps of work, so Cassie was able to come and help me regularly. And then we developed a program around it for youth to come in and work yes. with us doing murals. And that was in 2010. Gosh. So five years ago, <laughs> and we've done full circle, we've worked with kids, we've worked with youth, and now we're um, looking at working with youth again. Yeah. Getting, yeah so. And why would you say you do that? Well, because a lot of our public murals actually are at risk from yeah. some youth. <coughs> and we've we we've met a few, few youth that have done, have done things like that, and we've, we've talked to them and yeah. challenged our, our artwork with, with potential tagging or damage or yeah. intentional damage. And the, ma the main purpose that we get, we get involved with councils is to help reduce that happening to buildings and public mm. spaces. So Beautify we, yeah. areas um, that are, for most part, concrete, and we want to bring that nature element into it. You know, um, But it's also awareness for us as well, because we like to paint what you know what it should be compared to what building, is yeah. which is the concrete building but also the pollution and all sorts of things you see in nature so um yeah so we're looking we're at protecting through our artwork mm. but because we we're brought in, we're brought in to actually <coughs> improve the building visually but also reduce the damage to it we've yeah. actually found it hugely successful because 95 percent of taggers or yeah. youth that are potentially going to yeah. do damage won't do it once there's a beautiful piece of artwork, so they respect it. Mm. And the beauty been... that is that we also have protection yeah. with it, though, but yeah, it's with the, um, the graffiti. Yeah, sure. the green for protection, so um, if they do do it, it comes off anyway, you know, which yeah. is... So yeah, we, but we, the, the thing is, is that from a, a pathway, creative pathway, Casey and I are self-taught, so we've learnt a lot, a lot of the stuff that we do through our own mistakes, which means that we can then pass it on and share shortcuts or making it simpler for, for kids yeah. and people. So even though we get lots and lots of pleasure out of it, there's a huge amount of potential for us to pass it on. And then, We're at that um, stage now. Yeah, because yeah. between us we've probably painted 500 square metres mm. in five years. And some of it corrugated iron. Mm. Not recently though. No, never again. No, our first public mural was a co was a hundred square metre corrugated iron, wasn't yes. it? In Napier. And it's still there. In the winter time, 
Winter time. Yeah, and we're, we're pushing it, soaking down pushing into the mud. Through, through mud and around corners. Frozen and, fingers. Mm. We had those fingerless gloves. I knew that yeah. Casey was very loyal to me then because she stuck with me on for three months on the top of a of a scaffold. That was a long time, eh? But that was also a youth programme and we had lots mm. of help with that with, with uh, community yeah. kids that were with, with us. So. But do you remember when oh. I said to you, so how are we going to paint this chemistry? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, because it was being and actually being a mural artist, you're constantly being asked to do things that you've never done before. Yeah. So you're always being having and to so be you're always having to learn that technique, and yeah. And it quite often is that we paint something for the first time and only once. <laughs> so research is important. So and what are some of the projects that you've done around the region? So we've done um, the Anderson Park and in, in Napier or Green Meadows. We've done one in Anderson Park and Havelock. Yes. Uh, the Avery Gardens. Is. They're both bird aviaries and... and Which just happened to be the same theme at the same time that these people wanted it. And in both parks mm. as well. And we've done our Awa Toto, Marainui Green, which is a whole lot of playground murals oh. and a stage. And there has been, oh my goodness, toilet blocks. Six but toilet there's been blocks. heaps of kitty court ones that have gone up to Auckland. Yeah, daycare ones. Yeah. yeah early childhood schools, done heaps of schools. So yeah. we really, we've taken a bit oh. of a hiatus because we've... I took Ru I had Reuben last year and another baby, but we're ready to get back into it as a, a painting team now. Got so, new skills yeah. and yeah, it's quite exciting. Next step. Excellent. Where do you hope to take it in the future? Well, really, we're looking at there's the there's an opportunity to and a presentation that's been put through to our local council about um, mural message boards that will help to share the messages of, of community, in particular the young people in the art area in, in high schools that we want to connect with mm. and that to us is sharing is sharing our passion and they're able to share their compassion through their own passion especially when it's um, if they're visual artists so we're looking at working with kids but also beautifying our city and maybe throwing a few outdoor art galleries yes, up yes, and then be a cool idea. sharing that concept with other <clears throat> areas if they think that it's a yeah encouraging youth to because there's so many talented youth that we see and you can see the skills developing mm. you know they've already got it and you just want to give them that opportunity to expand on those and actually yeah. to say you are talented you have a gift don't be afraid yeah. you know um because that's what because we i did. remember yeah. being told oh you can't make a career out of art you know it's impossible you know it's just not going to happen well you can yeah. if, if the thing is is that you We've, we've created something that is now becoming quite a big part of the culture in a lot of cities around the world and for us Napier had some murals but they weren't, they were um, sort of few well, or far between yeah. but not much of a story linking them and now there's a lot of collective work going on mm. with artists and sculptor and you know and it's, it's, it, it's really coming cool. out of the community a lot more. So the creative side of things of, of this city in particular I know the council is looking at and Investing a lot more in those visual arts and actually in places well, they see the importance of it. Yeah, they do, and it adds everybody. It adds an enhancement, but it also adds interest. And in a lot of cases with murals, history. So, like we're able to capture the history of Napier with Art Deco, yeah. and also with the even, earthquake as yeah, well. And the change that has has happened because we have so many visitors to mm -hmm. to Napier. So we so can we tell a big, story through the art. Yeah, big giant advertising boards about what yeah. who we've we been. Who we are, where, where the city's going, what what it does really well, or the region, and I mean the, the big one that we did underneath the bridge, at, um, Pandora. Oh, yes, yes. That was that involved railways, it involved regional council, it involved mm. both councils. It was a really big um, strategic kind of project that we needed. We had someone help us negotiate, mm. and that but that actually enhanced an area that was actually seen by visitors. So it, we, what we do as well. Is, it, is we help to advertise the region to people that only just visit. Yeah, because so it's been part quite of the tourism a popular, side of it, I guess. Yeah, it's quite a popular <laughs> little, um, you know, bikeway or walkway, mm -hmm. and it always got hit really badly by taggers. And so um, we knew that there was the risk of that happening mm -hmm. with, with that board. But and it hasn't really, has No, it? well, there's only been little bits, but really people have respected it. And the comments that we've had from it, from Huge. people who said, oh, we'll walk past there mm -hmm. and and they love it so that's that's yeah. really but yeah yes. we've had lots of fun and we've and the thing is when we work, walk into those communities now that we've tried to change through our own passion is yeah. that they, the kids recognize us they call us fire sally and fire casey yeah and it's yeah. a sign of respect it means teacher and we're not both 
we're not qualified as no, coaches. No, but I quite enjoyed it. I, uh, you we've feel done time. part of the uh, and we've, respected and, and yeah. Well, we've like done the time that, you. that a teacher would yeah. do with kids, you know, like in, as, as if we teach a rating, really. We've even baked with them in the police station, haven't we? Yes. <laughs> so. Well, that's yeah. wonderful, guys. Yeah. I think a street food one, we're going to say we're excited to see what you do next. Thank you. Yeah.